There you go. Now, I remember when I first take it out of the bag, I said this female on this, this face is creepy as f <laughs> I have a concern. I, I'm not trying to pick a fight with anybody, but like, not picking a fight, not picking a fight. If you toss a Coco into the barnyard, you pick it up and go, that's kind of how it tastes like. I'm not picking a fight. Not picking a fight. You know, not a big deal. It's man made material. They all kind of have some issue here and there once in a while, okay? Not trying to insult anybody, just what I see. Not picking a fight. Earthiness? So, this thing tastes pretty good. Now, uh, I, I, I think the strength is about medium. medium. Soy Sass Sass and welcome to another cigar review. And today we have a cigar from Texas Cigar Society. Um, he provided this to me on the previous bomb. Um, if you guys seen the unboxing, this cigar particularly scared the crap out of me. And at the same time, intrigued me. So, this is supposedly, if I pronounce this right. Obatala Maduro by this company called Aragon and uh, it's a six and a half by 52. There you go. Now, I remember when I first take it out of the bag, I said this female on this, this face is creepy as fuck. <coughs> I'm not trying to insult anybody, just the way it looks because it's so dark and blue here. That is creepy. And I went online I googled it. Obatella was a, a Yoruba god, which is called the white deity, the old, oldest of the white deity. And, and that's why they use this. But I have a concern. I, I'm not trying to pick a fight with anybody, but like, can you really just use this image? Because when I googled it, that image is literally like out there. Right out there, so like, and I think this image is a little bit stretched, like eh, a little bit, because the original image I'm looking at uh, is a little bit more flatter, and um, that was the image they used. Called Obatella has both masculine and feminine qualities, so there is some female depiction of Obatella. So I don't know if there's a sight for that image let me see is there a citation nope so I, I don't know if uh, it be belongs to that website there's a blog that used the same image so I'm almost wary about that kind of stuff anyways so obviously the white deity uses white band not picking a fight not picking a fight but this white deity is black not picking a fight Not picking a fight. All right, so I'm just picking apart that that um, that I thought was interesting. That you know, not trying to insult anybody. Just what I see. Not picking a fight. So uh, it's a long thin cigar. Uh, um, is oddly pressed, so it's not even, but it's like. Uh, you see this is wider, but this is not, and this is kind of like to me it's kind of offset a like offset a little bit. So whoever pressed it probably had a a mold that are slightly curved, like almost oval a little bit. 
so the band doesn't sit straight. So this this is this is how flat it is. So so you can see this is the flat side. So it's kind of curved. You can see this side a little bit, but this side you can't see that. So if I turn it, you can't see both sides. But this side, one side is gonna be more than the other side, basically. However, I turned it. All right. A little bit earthy. Woodsy smell. Yeah. Let's go. The cap is very deep. The cap is very, very deep. So whatever you they Whoever is doing the cab is like, I'm going to put the shit out of it, it's, which is nice. I, I like it, you know, because when you have a lot of surface, it gives less uh, chance of screwing up the cab. So. <coughs> Powdery. <coughs> oh, my God. Hmm? That's weird. That's okay. I don't need this piece. The cap are like coming off a little bit. But there's plenty of cap, I think. So it should be okay. Well, come on. I was just talking about how good of a cap you have. Don't crack on me. Oh, this whole entire cap unravel a little bit. That's okay. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. Should be okay. So what happened is the cap don't have enough glue. There's no glue on the bottom. There's no glue in the bottom, but that's okay. I mean, um, I should have um, warm it up a little bit more, I guess. But I will find my glue somewhere over the rainbow. There it is. And glue it real quick because we just need that corner. Here we go. Cigar glue. Always get yourself some. Smart thing to do. All right. So. I will give this a few minutes. And I'll come right back, I guess. Okay, now we're back. So I just basically put some glue on there and just bake it in front of my heater just a little bit so that, you know, the cigar is happy and warm and everything. You know, not a big deal. It's man -man material. They all kind of have some issue here and there once in a while, okay? So, <clears throat> in regard to this cigar, it is a six by six and a half by 52, and I forgot to tell you guys about the wrapper. The wrapper is Mexican San Andreas Maduro. Binder is Nicaraguan, and filler is Condega. And the company says uh, it was by Aragon. It's actually called Taba Clara Aragon. So yeah, I never heard of it. Never tried it before. So it's kind of interesting. Um, based on this website, which is like the only website I find selling this cigar, um, it's 1080 a stick. 1080 a stick. Okay. <clears throat> it's a Bonyani Cocoa Shell. So it's Bonyar and then a little bit of cocoa. And it's almost like that. Like if you toss a cocoa into the Bonyar. You pick it up and go, that's kind of how it tastes like at this moment. So we'll see. Which is not surprising because I got a little bit earthiness earlier. Believe it or not, earthiness and barnyard kind of go 
a lot together sometimes. Give it a good burn. Okay. Definitely earth. There's a little bit of like coffee, but like a sourness of the coffee. Woodsiness. Spice. Spicy. There, there is a little bit of creaminess that's kind of tastes kind of grassy. That will take some time to, for the flavor to develop. It feels like it's trying to give me some flavor. It's got this dark, sour, um, earthy coffee kind of notes going on but it's tried to develop it's more to the sour side um and it starts to get grassy yeah uh yeah i had to smoke through one third to figure it out so yeah i'll be right back Okay, <clears throat> before I know it, I'm one third of the way through and I literally did not even know I was one third of the way through. Now, the burn is a little bit wonky and the ash just fell down. The ash is a little bit on the loose side, but other than a little bit of earthiness, this thing tastes pretty good. Now, uh, I, I, I think the strain is about medium, medium plus right now. But the, the flavor is actually not too bad. Smoke output, pretty good. It tastes like a, it's peppery. <clears throat> it's a little bit leafy. There's a little bit of the leafy sourness. And then, coffee chocolate, cocoa. Yeah, it's just um, sometimes it's more of the sourness that kind of make it taste like coffee. But I think majority of that note is actually closer to a chocolate. An almost, almost fruity chocolate, but it's chocolate. A little bit strong, but... I think because the, the amount of earthiness on this thing is so little. You can taste it, yeah. But it doesn't overwhelm the, the, the chocolate. And the leafy. That leafiness wasn't annoying. It wasn't bad. It's almost musty. So actually not bad for the first stir. Like I didn't even know I was at the first stir. I thought this would take forever to smoke. I was just smoking and smoking and the next thing you know, oh shoot, there's not that much already. Uh, so yeah, I'm into the second stir now. This thing is doing pretty good job right now. But 16 bucks, it's on the high end, I think. So uh, we'll continue to smoke to see what changes. If it doesn't change, it has a good chance to get, to, to get me to spend $16. But other than that, we'll see. We'll see. We'll be right back. A lot of smoke. It has good flavor, but uh, into the the last stir, it starts to have this uh, dryness to it. I, I don't know how to describe it. Dry, like when you drink or eat certain fruit, it's kind of dry. 
it makes your mouth not producing a lot of saliva and it's kind of like a little bit bitter. Like drinking a grape wine that hasn't been like a Malo that hasn't been aerated. It tastes kind of dry, but not like the sweetness. And I can tell you uh, after the second third, this is a full strength cigar. Full strength. I can taste that strength. It's like messing around my stomach. But, you know, it's not too bad. It's just that because I didn't have any food today. So it's like telling my stomach, it's like, hey, slow down. I was like, okay. But um, I'm trying to figure out what the emblem is like because usually the emblems are so complicated you can't really see. But this emblem actually kind of, kind of, we can make it out something, but I, I can't really make it out. Two of them is like a shape. One of them is a sun. The other one that says seven in Roman numeral. And uh, you get a moon. On this side, you get. Yeah, you get like a shape and then it says R.A. And then another shape that I can't tell what it is. Okay. So, yeah, let's take off the band and take a look at it. The second, third. Uh, It's chocolatey and woodsy. Not bad. The back has a QR code. The front. Oh, this is going to be rough. Um, I think it's a horse, an elephant, an owl, and a white tiger. And then that Obatella. A leaf on the side. Uh, really blue and silver, reflective silver. This is a really nice band. I like the size of this band. Like, I, I have to say, I like the size of this band. I like the, the holographic effect on the dots. Like, you know, it's like, you know, very, very cool. I think this is not a bad band, except. The lady does freak me out a little bit. Can lie about that. Uh, using a real animal picture is a little bit creepy too. But that's the design, right? And then in the middle, there's all-seeing eyes too. Right in there. So, yeah, it's a cool band. And it's just the color that they were using, the sky blue and everything, is just so solid that they were using it. Kind of, it's kind of scary when it's dark. Yeah, when you even just make this a little dark. I don't know if I if I can just show this and then like just darken the screen a little bit. <laughs> it's just like, Duh. you know, it's it's kind of scary. But other than that, you know, I, it's not no disrespect. I'm just saying what I feel about this band. That's all. So yeah, not too bad. Um. In terms of flavor and, and what I get out of it right now, I'm a... I'm very close. I'm thinking I'm at 12 or $14-ish. And I think the strength is what keep me from giving it 16. Some people love the strength. And if you love the strength, this is 16. But for me, that strength is keeping me from giving it 16, I think. So yeah, last third. Let's see how it performed last third. And then we'll go to summary. Not a bad cigar. Not a bad cigar. Alright, so I'm done with the cigar. It's not a bad cigar. As you can see, I smoke all the way to the end. Um, it's not a bad cigar at all. I can safely say that's about the $14 range, but I can't I can't go to 16. The strength a little bit too high for for this flavor. For this flavor. So yeah, $14, not too bad. Uh, I could recommend this cigar. I don't know if anybody, you know, if I think if you buy a full box, you definitely have some sort of discount to make it towards that fourteen dollar. But you know, you got to try it out and before you make that decision, obviously. So not a bad cigar. I enjoyed it. Um, I probably would enjoy it more if I had food, but I enjoy it a little bit less because I don't have food. But then again, you know, a cigar strength is never my forte to start with. So. With that being said, I think uh, the cigar is recommendable. Uh, people should seek it out if you do find it. And uh, big thanks to um, 
Texas Cigar, cigar Society sending me the cigar. Thank you. Um, because uh, this would be one cigar that I wouldn't otherwise try because I don't even know it existed. So thank you very much. Uh, with that being said, that will be it for this uh, cigar review. I try to see if there's anything I want to add to that. You know, everything I say is like, you know, at the moment, right? So uh, I tried to see if I did anything I missed. Doesn't seem like there's anything I missed. So that will be it for the cigar review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, like, subscribe, support it, uh, um, and share, comment. I will see you guys in the comment. Bye, guys.